This was our first time cruising without a drinks package, as P&O don't sell them on cruises of less than five nights duration. We were interested to see how much we spend while still having a drink whenever we wanted to. Okay, a brief rundown of P&O drinks packages. These are P&O's current prices. As of December 2023, you get 10% off if purchased before your cruise. Classic and deluxe packages also give 20% discount off drinks that are not included in your package. If allowed, we would have likely chosen the classic package for a four-night cruise, as the limited selection wouldn't bother us too much over a short period of time. On a longer cruise, we would have probably taken the deluxe package as the classic selection of beers, wines and cocktails is quite limited. Or maybe gone pay as we go, depending how this video works out. As P&O allow you to bring some drinks on board to drink in your cabin, we bought six cans of Pepsi, six bottles of water and a bottle of Prosecco. I'll tell you at the end if we drank them all. We stuck to our normal routine, which was a coffee in the morning, a glass of wine with lunch and with dinner and some drinks around the ship during the days and in the evenings. We had one full day in Amsterdam where we didn't drink much on board. Our bill at the end of four nights was £445. This sounds quite a lot, although £22 was not drink and £48 was for a bottle of champagne, which was a spur of the moment choice instead of two glasses of wine. So our drinks bill excluding these was £375. That's around £47 per night each which is not a huge amount more than the classic package. Also, a lot of the cocktails, beers and wines that we drank wouldn't have been included. And we enjoyed not feeling tied to a limited drinks menu. Our takeaway from this is we didn't pay much more for pay as you go as we would have for the classic package. And we had a lot more freedom of choice. So we might well do our next p and cruise without the drinks package. Oh, and those drinks we bought on board. Over the four nights of our cruise, we drank five of the Pepsis, four bottles of water, and we took the Prosecco home with us, as we never found a time that we wanted to sit in our cabin and drink it. I'm sure this would have been different if we had a balcony cabin on a warm weather cruise. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this useful, or at least entertaining.